Okay, so I would really like to show you something and it's this thing. And this is the second version of the smart glasses and I can safely say that the second version is a lot better than the first version. Like, look at that glasses, it's like, it's just hot glue and some cardboard. But now the chest is a bit more upgraded and it has some bolts, nuts, super glue, hot glue, a bit more hot glue and 0.6mm PETG plastic as the reflector. And one of the biggest upgrades alongside the camera is definitely the rectangular lens that I had to show down to make it a bit lighter. Okay, so I don't want you to wait any longer and the biggest upgrade definitely is the camera. Like I shot a video where I was going through my room and like it looks super cool to like look through the camera because you can see the entire room with your own eyes with test a small display in front of you that you can see like the room like it's just so absurd and I managed to make a program that sends the picture from the Raspberry to my computer and there's a hand recognition software that tracks your hands and like, it just blows my mind how good the tracking is even when the like the resolution uh, I downscale it in the Raspberry to like it's like 240 by 160 and I upscale it back on my PC like <laughs> even then like the hand tracking works pretty well and I'm really surprised about that. I also made a version where the hand tracking data is sent back to the smart glasses and basically the processing is done in the PC but you can see the process image in the smart glasses so there's a bit of a delay because the Raspberry can't process it fast enough and the internet connection is pretty poor on the Raspberry Pi Zero but yeah it's good enough for this kind of demonstration. Yeah, I have no clue what to actually use the hand tracking for, but I made this the demo that I controlled the brightness of my lights with like pinching my fingers and dragging a basically like a slider up and down. So yeah, that was pretty much the second version in its entirety. And if you would like to build this project, all of the software and hardware details, basically the display drivers and stuff like that, you can find all of this in the first video. All of the new chassis parts are in Thingiverse. All of the software should be in GitHub and if there's something that you can't find, like let me know in the comments. Yeah, that's the second version of the smart glasses and I hope that somebody found this useful and yeah, go and check out the hand tracking uh, library for Python, it was super easy to use and it was super cool and like really accurate. So go and check check that out and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.